Welcome to the Center for Court Innovations training series on helping court staff understand domestic violence cases. For court staff unsure of how they can help litigants in domestic violence cases while also remaining neutral, the concept of procedural fairness is a great place to start. Procedural fairness, or procedural justice, describes the way litigants perceive the court process and how they are treated, especially whether it felt fair and impartial. More specifically, procedural fairness is a perception that you're being treated with respect and your concerns are being taken seriously. It's the idea that everyone received their fair day in court and due process was served. And it's especially significant in domestic violence cases as perceived fairness can impact a survivor's willingness to view the court as a resource and the abusive partner's willingness to comply with court orders. To get a better idea of what procedural fairness is, think about a time when you experienced an emergency and needed help from a professional. How did you feel? What was helpful to you in that situation? What made things worse? Litigants entering the courthouse after a domestic violence incident are often experiencing emergencies too. There's much about the court process that can be confusing that can cause anxiety and frustration on top of the feelings they may already be experiencing. Moreover, even when court staff is trying their best, litigants may experience stress in anticipation of being ignored, misunderstood, or disrespected, like they may have been in other situations. In worst case scenarios, they may actually be treated poorly in court. Think about what it feels like to go from point to point in your courthouse. Does your court culture enhance a litigant's experience or exacerbate trauma? Procedural fairness tries to enhance a court process for litigants by emphasizing four key principles, voice, respect, neutrality, and understanding. Voice means litigants feel they had an opportunity to be heard and present their side of the story. Respect involves litigants feeling like they're treated with respect and dignity by judges, attorneys, and court staff. Neutrality is when litigants perceive that the decision-making process is unbiased and trustworthy. An understanding refers to litigants understanding their rights and the court process and what's expected of them in order to comply with court orders. Sometimes procedural fairness also includes helpfulness, which means the litigants feel that the court staff have a genuine interest in their needs and want to help. Research shows that litigants are more likely to accept what happens in court if these principles are in place. In fact, the court experience may be more influential on a litigant's view of what happened that day than the actual outcome of a case. While of course individuals do prefer to have a favorable outcome in court and win, having a fair outcome is also important. People can generally accept losing if they feel they were being treated fairly, which shows that people value the fairness of the process that led to whichever outcome ends up happening. So why should you care? All court staff influence perceptions of fairness. The treatment of litigants by security staff, clerks, defense attorneys, prosecutors, and the judge all contribute to how litigants view their court experience. While procedural fairness has been tested across courts and case types, it is particularly critical in matters involving domestic violence because it can further the goals of safety and accountability. Safety. Because survivors face the risk of future violence and even lethality, it's critical that they view courts as places that they can find protection. If the courts are perceived as legitimate and trustworthy, survivors are more likely to access help and request protective orders. Compliance. People who cause harm are more likely to comply with protective orders if they feel their experience in court was fair. This means fewer violations of protective orders and a reduced risk of future violence. Trauma. The court experience can cause anxiety for anyone, especially survivors of domestic violence who may be interacting with several justice system actors. Survivors may be more likely to feel triggered by negative court staff interactions or feelings of hopelessness over the litigation process. Self-representation. 
Many domestic violence litigants are self-represented and lack information about the court process, how to present their case, or what information is admissible. It's not uncommon for self-represented litigants to leave court without understanding how to access resources to ensure their safety or what's expected of them to ensure they're complying with an order. Procedural fairness helps to provide an equitable and safe forum for litigants to resolve their dispute. It enhances access by helping litigants understand the process and explain their side. And it also promotes greater transparency by encouraging staff to explain the court process and process cases more efficiently. Most importantly, procedural fairness can deter future violence and help rehabilitate people who cause harm. Because of these factors, procedural fairness can increase public confidence in the justice system, improve respect for and compliance with court orders, and encourage individuals to keep using the court system. However, it's important to note that perceived fairness does not replace ensuring that the court process is actually fair, unbiased, and neutral towards both parties. While it can help improve the public's feelings towards a court process, it's more important for the decision-making process in all cases, including domestic violence cases, to be equitable for everyone. So what can you do to implement procedural fairness in your practice? Reflect on how litigants experience the court process. How do they feel while navigating the courthouse? Are they shown respect by all the court staff? Can they express their thoughts and feelings in their own voice? Is the court staff neutral? Does anyone ensure litigants understand what's going on? Is there anything that could be handled differently? What are some basic ways to be procedurally fair? Making eye contact with litigants. Keep in mind that due to cultural norms, trauma, and other reasons, some litigants may be uncomfortable making eye contact back. Use plain language and explain any potentially confusing legal terms. Provide translated documents and an interpreter. If a litigant does not seem to fully understand what you're communicating, be sure to ask if they're more comfortable using a different language. Ask clarifying questions so the litigant can fully say everything they need to explain. And at the end of each day, or periodically throughout the day, reflect on your interactions with litigants and whether there were any moments that showed bias. Finally, linking litigants to any appropriate or relevant services demonstrate that the court's willing to help. And some more concrete strategies to consider. Train all court staff on procedural fairness and domestic violence, as well as related topics like trauma-informed and culturally responsive practices. Trainings should be attended by as many court staff and judges as possible to improve the overall case process and courthouse culture. Domestic violence survivors are more likely to use the court if it feels safe and accessible. Creating guides, tip sheets, brochures, and even videos for litigants will help them feel more comfortable with the court process. The court should also consider conducting an audit to learn of any other accessibility and safety issues in the courthouse, like signage and waiting areas. And by reaching out to and regularly collaborating with community partners like domestic violence agencies and abusive partner intervention program staff, courts can learn about any issues litigants frequently encounter in court and the best ways to share information. To learn more about this topic and for any further training questions, contact us at dvinfo at courtinnovation.org.